2023 was a strong year for ETFs with total inflows crossing a half a trillion dollars, a hundred billion of that coming in just November alone. Investors piled into U.S. equities and taxable bond funds this year, as well as what else? Large cap stocks, single stock ETFs and cryptocurrencies. So here now to take us inside the numbers is Vetify head of research, Todd Rosenbluth. Todd, thank you very much for being here. Let's talk about the trends in the flow show of 2023. What really stuck at, stood out to you? Well, we started the year with a lot of investor interest in fixed income, short-term fixed income, protecting against rising interest rates. The last two months have been $100 billion each. November and December, as of yesterday, according to Vetify data, we've seen money going in to ETFs, particularly large-cap equity ETFs. SPY, the S&P uh, ETF from State Street, has uh, actually been driving that uh, significant inflows in the month of December as people prepare for year end heading into 2024. If you take a look at the way things have shaped up for 2024, what do you think is going to be the big thing thematic ETF wise that's going to draw the most attention and, and money in? Well, the most attention is certainly going to be a potential spot Bitcoin ETF being approved likely in the next week or two uh, and then launching soon after. And we expect that the exchange conference we had Vetify host in February, there'll be multiple products that are there. They're lining up to do so. We've got Bitwise and BlackRock. Grayscale is likely to be able to convert their trust into an ETF. That's going to be the story to kick off the year. And then it's going to be what happens with the Federal Reserve, the number of rate cuts that are going to happen, and do we get a rotation towards value and more defensive investing as opposed to the risk on growth that we've seen so far this year? Do you think it's going to be more of a, an attention getter, bonds, funds and crypto funds versus stock ETFs, which is what many people just think about when they think about ETFs? Yeah. So stock ETFs are still going to be driving the lion's share of the inflows year after year. It's whether it's a risk on or risk off environment. But we now are seeing investors rotate into ETFs to get exposure for their bonds through TLT, for example, that we saw uh, 20 plus year Treasury was the most popular fixed income ETF. We've seen uh, crypto as a way of getting exposure using ETFs. You were talking about gold earlier, but equities are still king in the ETF space. So, Todd, when you look at the passive nature of investing right now, and, and spiders, SPY just blew, blew off all records from what we've seen previous to it. Does it make it so that people th through passive investing are buying larger cap names or do you think they have a shot at obviously there's ETFs for small cap names? Do you see them you know, jockeying for a uh, position on, on the uh, attention of the consumer? Yeah, I mean, we've seen small cap rally in recent weeks and months uh, as rates have pulled back. Uh, the iShares Russell 2000 ETF, IWM, has certainly performed very well. We've seen other products that are doing well. I think if the market broadens out, as is likely to happen in 2024, we see more small cap, more equally weighted strategies gain attention. RSP, which is the, the equal weight S&P 500, pulled in uh, a top 10 net inflows for the year, despite significantly underperforming the broader market. So there's largely an ETF for most exposures that people want. And what about this idea? I mean, we mentioned single stock ETFs being a huge kind of like growth area. It's not an absolutely large part. But what part about the stock market do you think? What kinds of stories, what kinds of companies are going to be driving that ETF stock narrative in 2024? Well, we saw in 23, it was Coinbase, it was Tesla, it was NVIDIA, and there are leveraged, one and a half times leverage ETFs that exist for people who want the ease of use instead of buying options directly. Uh, we're also seeing options use in other strategies uh, through covered calls. Um, JP Morgan's JEPI, JEPI, uh, has been extremely popular. It has helped to drive actively managed ETFs. And so I think we're going to see more adoption of actively managed ETFs heading into 2024, whether it's a more single speci stock specific approach to it, or it's going to be a broader market that's more defensive uh, as newer entrants have come into the market.